Hello and welcome to the first episode of my guide to Finnish science fiction and fantasy. My name is Maya and in this series I'm going to be telling you about some Finnish genre authors as well as telling you about their books and giving you some pronunciation tips with those hard Finnish words. In this episode we're going to be talking about Emmy Itaranta and her Philip K. Dick award nominated book Memory of Water. Emmy is originally from Finland but currently lives in Canterbury. She holds a degree in creative writing from the University of Kent. Let's begin with some tips on how to pronounce the author's name. Emmy is pretty close to the English name Emmy, just with the longer M sound. It might help you to picture it as two separate words, the first part being M, as in Aunt M, and the second Mi, as in Mickey. M, Mi, make Emmy. Now the surname might look intimidating because of the pesky A with two dots, but in the end it's pretty close to the way you pronounce the letter A in the word cat. Ah. And in Finnish the letters are almost always pronounced the same way, no matter where they are situated inside a word. So if you know a letter from another word, you can pretty safely use it in a completely different word. So now every time you see the A with two dots in a Finnish word, you'll know it's just the A from cat, nothing to be worried about. The it at the start is just the same as the English word, so combine the two and come up with ita. Another part of the surname is randa. Now in Finnish we have the trolling R sound r. But if you don't feel like you're up to it, you can just as freely use the English R and say Randa. The Ran part is pronounced pretty much how you would say Ran in English. And the ending is just Ta. I don't think I even can come up with anything to help you with that. It's pretty much how you would say ta ta. So with all that we get It, A, Ran, Da. Ita Randa. Or with the English R sound Ita Randa. Ita actually means East in Finnish and Randa means Shore. So her last name is East Shore. And that's the pronunciation guide to Emmi Itaranda. Let's move on to talk about the book. Memory of Water is Itaranda's debut novel. She actually wrote the book at the same time in English and Finnish. So when you read the book in English, you're not reading the translation, you're reading Emmy's own words. The book came out in Finland in 2012, when Itaranda won a publisher's science fiction and fancy book writing contest. The Finnish title is Tee Mestarin Kirja which means Tea Master's book. The book is published in English by Harbour Voyager. Memory of Water is set in a world where fresh water is a scarcity and the remaining resources are controlled by a strict military regime. It tells about Norja Kaitio, a 17-year-old tea master who guards a family secret, a freshwater spring that her family has cared for for generations. The book takes place in northern Finland with some references to the city of Kuusamo, but the military regime seems to be some sort of future China, perhaps, called New Kian or Tian, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. The writing is lyrical, which works very well, especially with the descriptions of the tea ceremony. Now I read this book in Finnish and have not read the English version, and I think the strength of the book was definitely the writing style. The character names in Memory of Water are not actual Finnish names, but they sound like they could be, like they could very well be Finnish names in the future. Here's how I would pronounce them. I'm not saying this is the correct way to pronounce them, or how the author intended for you to pronounce them, but this is the Finnish way to say them. The protagonist, Norja Kaitio, her father, Mikoa, her best friend, Sanja, Sanja's little sister, Minja, and Sanja's mom, Kira. Other characters include people such as Commander Taro and the tea master, Niiramo. There's also some mentions of the background soldiers by the name of Liuhala, Kanto, and Muromäki. Some places mentioned in this book are the city of Kuusamo, the lake Kuolojärvi, and the Alvinvara fell. I hope the pronunciation tips and examples were at least a little bit helpful for you and let me know in the comments how you feel about these sorts of videos and I'll see you later.